From the fast action of the trading pit to the power brokers making the headlines, you'll hear it all on the Traders Network Show with your host, Michael Yorba. All right. Michael interviews the front page titans about the latest in trading tools and market trends in stocks, commodities, bonds, forex, and derivatives. The Traders Network helps you stay ahead of the curve and delivers tomorrow's trade today. Now, here's your host, Michael Yorba. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. We are broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeart Media Studios, worldwide through yorbamedia.com. I'm joined with Keith Blakely, CEO, Encore Golf, breakthrough technology in the golf world. But this gentleman really is a serial entrepreneur. He started out his first company when he was 24, grew it over the next 20 years to over 350 employees and three U.S. Uh, manufacturing operations and three international joint ventures, Tyco and so on. I'm going to back up a little bit. Keith, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Michael, thanks so much for having me on. My pleasure. Now, your, your background is a little bit more in-depth than what I was able to give to the audience. Please bring out a little bit, and then let's get into this new technology that Encore Golf is bringing to the market. Absolutely. Well, as you mentioned, I've been an, a serial entrepreneur for uh, over three decades now. Really a strong emphasis bringing new technologies out of the laboratory and into the commercial marketplace. Uh, most of the things that I've worked on are products that you never really see, uh, but they're included in things like your cell phones, nuclear power plants, solar energy systems, defense, medical devices. Uh, we've done a number of, of international partnerships, joint ventures, licenses, so I'm familiar with the global landscape for uh, business. I just happen to be a guy who loves technology, but I like business as well, and I really enjoy seeing things go from a concept into the commercial marketplace and succeeding. And uh, Encore is, is one of those products that, that is going to do that. Okay, tell us about Encore. This, has got, this is really good stuff. There's a lot of, a lot of people out here that are going to use your product. Well, I was going to say, you know, the weather up here is not conducive today for golf, but I think uh, you guys have got it in the mid-60s, so it's probably a little more reasonable to expect that some of your listeners are going to be headed out to the course uh, this weekend. Um, Encore really is. It's one of the most exciting news stories in golf today. In the past 93 years, there have only been two occasions when the USGA, which is the, the governing body of golf, has either rewritten or reinterpreted the rules of golf as they relate to golf ball construction. The last one was in 2014 when they decided to permit rigid cores of about 0.9 inch diameter or less to be used in the construction of a golf ball without having that violate their traditional and customary form and make requirement. Now that change came about as a result of Encore challenging an earlier determination that said that hollow metal core balls were non-conforming. And as a result of that challenge uh, and the appeal that Encore went through um, and the USGA's re-examination of the ball, the technology now, the game, the advancement in ball architecture, uh, new construction is now permissible, conforming to the rules of golf. And Encore is a company that's leading the way to bring all of these benefits to the market. Now, how does the rigid uh, core benefit a golfer? I mean, I, I'm not a big golfer, so I'm, I'm kind of ask you a naive question for me. Now, it's not naive at all. In fact, um, most people are not physicists that understand the dynamics of golf ball flight and uh, what goes on when you smack that ball off that little white tee. But there are a number of both aerodynamic and uh, physics that go into what gives a ball its flight characteristics. One of them is the speed that the ball leaves the club face with. And what's kind of interesting, if you, if you look at high-speed photography of most modern rubber core golf balls, when you hit that ball with a driver, it actually becomes almost egg-shaped. You know, it flattens, it compresses, mm -hmm. and then it rebounds and recovers its shape. Well, there's a lot of energy that's lost in that process of the ball compressing and then rebounding. With a rigid core, what you do is you take all of that energy and you transfer it into velocity. So what we've seen is that the ball that we build comes off the club face much faster than traditional balls. And that velocity translates into distance. But 
the way the ball was originally designed and the purpose really of that rigid metal core is to move the weight of the ball from the center to the outside. Many years ago, uh, club designers started making what they called perimeter-weighted clubs where they'd hollow out the club head. I mean, we all, all of us at golf carry now a hollow driver, basically. And by moving the weight to the outside, it stabilized the club head, gave you more control on your swing, more accurate shots. And that those same principles apply to the golf ball. The difference is that you use a driver maybe 18 times in a game, use a golf ball on every single shot. So if you can move the weight of the golf ball from the center to the outside, a couple of factors come into play. First is that it increases what's called rifle spin. And rifle spin is kind of that, the, what you get, the effect of a bullet coming out of a rifle barrel where it's spinning along its axis and that stabilizes it. If you didn't have a, a rifle spin on a bullet, it would just tumble when it came out of the barrel. Mm -hmm. In a golf ball, what it does is it gives you more stability during flight. But the other important characteristic is that by shifting that weight from the center to the outside, if you miss hit the ball, and most of us do once in a while, the side spin that you would normally impart from your club face being either open or closed that gives you that hook or slice effect, that side spin decays a lot faster with this perimeter-weighted ball. And if you think about it, when an ice skater wants to do a really fast spin, what does she do? She pulls her arms in tight against her body. In other words, all of the weight is right at the axis of revolution. If she wants to slow her spin down, she extends her arms and her legs out away from that axis. So if you think about what we've done with the golf ball architecture here, we've moved the weight to the outside. We're extending the arms and the legs. And so when you miss hit that ball, instead of it peeling off right or left in a hook or a slice, that side spin slows down much faster with our ball, and it will actually appear to straighten out on a, on a long uh, tee shot. What are some of the factors? And in, in when I when I'm talking when I say say factors, I know that you do a lot of statistical analysis on the on the, on the work that goes into these balls. But the, you know the percentage of greater accuracy, the percentage of of uh, greater length on the shot. Tell me about that. Sure. You know everybody um, can only experience a golf ball really outside. You can go into simulators. You can try and do a number of things that model what a golf ball is going to do. The one thing that we found and we encourage everybody to do is just go out and play. Try a ball. Try our ball. See what kind of experience you have with it. The testimonials that we get back support the robotic testing that we do. But again, people are not robots. So, you know, when they're out on the course, they may hit a really good shot and think it was themselves and hit a really bad shot and blame it on the club or the ball. But we have gone to um, the basically the gold standard of independent golf ball testing out in San Diego, a company called Golf Laboratories, and we've run our balls up against all of the premium tour balls so that we would truly be able to say what is the difference in terms of the, the physical effects of having that rigid perimeter weighted ball. And they're pretty, uh, they're, they're pretty stark. We, on average, will see somewhere between 25 to 30 percent less dispersion when we intentionally impart either a hook or a slice at uh, different club head swing speeds. In terms of distance, this ball is right up there with all of the premium balls. Uh, they're all within a couple of yards of one another. In some cases, it's longer. In some cases, it's shorter. What we find most interesting, again, is the testimonials that we get from players who almost all think that this is a distance ball because if they're hitting it straighter and it stays in the fairway, they're winding up probably getting more distance out of the encore ball than they do out of uh, a competitive ball. Hmm. Wow. 
That's that's very strong. Now, look, we're we're about out of time. We got we about two minutes left in uh, in this segment, but I wanted to start the conversation here, um, or, or just kind of like tease it, if you will, for the next segment, because you know you're in an industry sector that's dominated by giants. You know they got all massive resources here, and you're a small company. And I wanted to, on the next segment, if we could talk about, you know, what you're doing to take your company and be able to, you know, to penetrate the market and be, uh, be effective and disruptive to the point where you're actually gaining market share. Can we do that on the other side of this break? Absolutely. Now, but before we go, though, please give everybody contact information, where they can get the, the ball and, and how they can get to your website. Absolutely. Um, the website is www.encoregolf, and that's Encore with an O, not an E. So O-N-C-O-R-E golf.com. Balls are available uh, online. And uh, if they have information requests, they'd like to send an email to us, they can do it to info at EncoreGolf.com. Great. All right, we'll be right back with Keith Blakely, CEO, Encore Golf, on the other side of this break. And we're going to talk about how a little guy can take on the Titans and be successful. I'm Dr. James, founder of Diamond Physicians, a concierge medicine practice located in Dallas, Texas. Our Diamond 360 advanced physical exam has been created for people like you, we live a high-stress, fast-paced life. Every 40 seconds, someone in the U.S. experiences a life-changing heart attack or debilitating stroke. Negative stress tests and normal cholesterol levels do not exclude you. Half of all fatal heart attacks occur without warning. Diamond goes beyond traditional medicine with the Diamond 360 Advanced Physical Exam, proven to prevent heart attacks, strokes, and diabetes. Contact Diamond now at 214-395-3491. That's 214-395-3491. 395-3491 or visit our website at diamondphysicians.com to take the diamond challenge. If your Diamond 360 reveals perfect health, receive a full refund. Your loved ones will thank you. Hi, this is Bernadette with Adrift Float Spa. We have made tremendous gains in the human body, but we have only begun to tap the potential of the human mind. Float today for only $59. Call us at 214-36-FLOAT or visit us online at adriftfloatspa.com. Are you tired of exposing your retirement to stock market risk? How would you like to participate in stock market gains, but never stock market losses? Join Chris Novinger and Brady Spears for the Retirement Experts Radio Show Saturday mornings at 9, right here on KFXR 1190. You can also call now for your free Safe Money Information Kit and Safe Money Book at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. Nearly two-thirds of low-income families have no children's books at home. You can help. Donate a new or gently used children's book to the Half Price Books Half Pint Library. We'll match your donation. The Half Price Books Half Pint Library Book Drive. Okay, guys, when it comes to shaving, you've got to check out Harry's.com. Why pay 32 bucks for an 8-pack of blades? Harry's high-quality German-engineered blades are half the price of drugstore brands. Harry's starter set with a razor, three blades, and shave cream is just $15 with free shipping. With promo code 6060, you get $5 off your first order. After using code 6060 at checkout, you can get an entire month's worth of shaving for just 10 bucks. That's harrys.com, code 6060. Flo from Progressive here on a road trip with Bob, who owns a dry cleaning service. Well, it's not really a road trip. We're only going a mile. In a mile, you can save money on your commercial auto insurance with discounts like safe driver, business experience, and paid in full. Nice. So, expert to expert, how would you get a large mustard stain out of white cotton? Why? Just planning out our road snacks. We're only going a mile, Flo. I can eat a lot of hot dogs in a mile, Bob. Good point. Discounts to save your business money. Visit Progressive.com to learn more. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. BTJ Consulting was founded specifically to consult with accredited investors on how best to manage their oil and gas investments. The emphasis is not only on direct participation in drilling projects, but includes opportunities in the purchasing of oil rigs, service and equipment companies, real estate, and or the purchase of royalty interest through lease pooling. This strategy further mitigates risk and spreads their clients' investments over the entire sector whenever possible. For more information, call 469-518-5008. 
or info at btjconsulting.com, 469-518-5008, or info at btjconsulting.com, that's 469-518-5008, or info at btjconsulting.com, and tell them Yorva sent you. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host, broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeart Media Studios and worldwide through yorbamedia.com. All right, I'm joined on the show with uh, CEO of Encore Golf, Keith Blakely. We're talking about some breakthrough technology in golf balls, but what we're we're also going to be talking about on this segment is how business strategies of a smaller, nimble and uh, more innovative company can actually compete in a world where really it's it's almost like uh, these people have a monopoly uh, of the industry sector. I mean, am, or have I, am I very far off, Keith? No, no, that's, uh, that's not a bad characterization. But I think if you look at the history of innovation in golf, it's almost always come from small startups like Encore. The big guys are, are they're marketing machines. They pay players millions of dollars to use their equipment. So there's not much motivation for them really to invest in disruptive technologies that make the game more enjoyable for the vast majority of golfers. They're, they're more focused on each other and stealing market share back and forth. This company's bringing a very fresh approach, in my opinion, very customer-centric, uh, investing in technologies that will continue to improve a player's scores and enjoyment level, which is important nowadays in golf. You know, it's frustrating, it's uh, expensive, it takes a long time to play. But we want to do those things all while staying true to the tradition of golf. You know, it's important to us that our products not be viewed as gimmicks or that they not be fully conforming to the rules of golf. And so, you know, we'll only offer products that do what we say they do and can be played and enjoyed by everyone, from weekend warriors to championship tour players. And I'd mention, Michael, that the ball that is commercially out there right now that your listeners can go and buy on the website. It's not the first product that the company came up with. This represents years and millions of dollars of interaction and innovation between the company and its customers, um, getting feedback from them, finding out what they liked, what they didn't like. And one of the things I'd like to offer up is uh, during this weekend, if your listeners go to the Encore website, order a dozen balls, we're going to reach out to the first 100 listeners and ask them if they'd be interested in being part of our beta test program. Uh, we've got more technology, more iterations, improvements. We'd love to have uh, folks who are seriously interested in the technology, in the game, in the company, uh, work with us to help us bring the next generation of product along. Okay, website? www.encore with an o o n c o r e golf.com okay now are you do you have any plans of uh, people like McElroy or Bubba Watson have, having these balls in their hands well of course today there's nothing that prevents them from playing with our ball that's the good news it is USGA conforming it can be played in any tournament that's out there but their current sponsorship agreements wouldn't permit that we have had a number of tour players uh, of all eras. We've had some of the legends of golf play the product. Uh, but, of course, we can't name names because they have these multi-million dollar sponsorship uh, arrangements. And so for them, you know, they've given us feedback. We've improved the ball. We've made it work for them. We're focused on guys that are uh, coming up through the ranks and on gals. A lot of the LPGA players have, have raved about the ball. Uh, and really seem to enjoy it. So we do want the ball in tour players' hands, but that's part of our strategy as well, is to work with the other ball manufacturers and design specific balls with their players in mind so that they can bring our technology into their product line uh, in addition to the technology that they develop on their own. Okay, what about your company's business plans and, you know, and, and the financial plans? Well, our strategy really is to establish Encore as the agents of change in the golf ball industry. Uh, through the commercial launch of our own product line beginning this season with the MA 1.0, which is already available, getting great reviews and customer reaction. 
but following that with the development of new golf balls designed for specific swing speeds or skill levels. Um, and we've added some unbelievable industry experience to our team in the last year, including Joe White. Uh, Joe's the former head of Yamaha Sports, Dunlop, and uh, Gary Player Sports. And in addition to Joe, we've brought in two of the industry's most renowned ball and dimple designers who have between them well over 50 patents. And that's going to ensure that we continue to set the bar for innovation in the golf ball industry over the next decade. Do you, do you have any plans of going public? Well, that used to be the dream of, you know, all small companies to do an IPO, and it, it certainly is an option. Uh, I think between the regulatory challenges, the costs of legal and accounting compliance, and, of course, the impact that having to try and meet quarterly earnings expectations have on decision-making in a business, that there's a lot to be said for staying private. Right now, we're looking to complete a $2 million offering with accredited investors so that we can execute our business plan for this year. We think that'll set the stage for some really exciting future growth, provide the company with lots of options as to what its next financing looks like. My personal objective for Encore this year is to create a highly successful, profitable company with lots of customers, lots of partners, and fresh ideas and products that keep the blood pumping and the bank account swelling year after year. We do that. The rest of it will take care of itself. Now, are, are you doing that offering through yourself, um, through your own company? You're using broker-dealers? How, how, if somebody is interested in investing in the next change, you know, next radical change that hit the golf or changing the face of, of, of the golf sector, how, how, do, how do they get – I mean, they who can, do they call? They, they contact me. Okay. Um, I'm, as chairman and CEO – um, I would be their point of contact. We're happy to work with folks who do have an interest. They can send an email to Keith, K-E-I-T-H, at EncoreGolf.com. Okay. All right. So uh, you are, and thank you for bringing that out, you are, 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 are domestic now. Do you have any plans of, of getting outside the board? Because they golf all over the place. It's not just here. Well, it's interesting. We've actually already filled orders in 21 countries and all 50 states, as it turns out. We, uh, we went through and looked at it last summer to see how extensive our, um, our, our reach had been with the ball. So we were fairly surprised. We are beginning to sign distributors in overseas markets. Uh, of course, Asia's a big market. Europe's a big market. Uh, but we've had interest in some pretty unique places, Uruguay, Venezuela, um, Singapore, Malaysia. And so we've, we've got uh, coverage in, in a number of different places, New Zealand, Australia. Uh, we're working with a number of different partners in the Japanese and, and Korean markets looking to finalize some of those. So we expect the ball will be available just about everywhere by the end of this, uh, this golf season. So is that the core of your marketing uh, concept is to find these up-and-comers and go after the youth rather than the old guard that's already got, you know, a, a massive contract with all kinds of red tape attached to it? Well, I, I love that you use the word core because, of course, we really think that the change comes from within. The core is obviously the essential element to, to our golf ball. Uh, but you are right. We are, we are looking at uh, engaging a younger demographic as as well as the established players and golfers um, at, because of my background you know i'm i'm kind of the gray hair i wish i had more of it but i'm gray hair uh, the two guys that actually founded encore believe it or not are both in their 30s early 30s and you know they come to uh, the market and and come to the business with a very fresh perspective they love engaging young players at high school levels and even a little bit earlier at colleges. Uh, last year, we, we signed on John Guyberger, and John's a young guy, but uh, for 17 years he coached the Division One golf team at Pepperdine University, and, and he's been very helpful in getting us in front of the right kinds of up-and-coming players so that you know they can try the ball, learn to play with this ball, take advantage of its performance characteristics, and hopefully be more successful whether they're playing for pleasure or whether they're playing for uh, uh, professional ranking. Hmm. You know, I've got, I was just talking to a friend of mine who's the uh, uh, executive director of a charity going on down here, and they have a couple of t golf tournaments that, uh, are, are, that they're planning on as we go through the summer. So I, I think I ought to introduce them to you. Maybe we can get your ball introduced to some of these uh, players here in town. 
Absolutely. We, uh, the guys love doing the, uh, the pro-ams and the charity tournaments. In fact, um, I think we're allowed to say that uh, we'll be the ball sponsor at the George Lopez uh, tournament, which is a very big uh, event out there in the West Coast, and uh, we're excited about that. They did the uh, Shriners tournament a couple of years ago with Justin Timberlake out in Vegas. They've done the BMW uh, Classic, and actually the ball was first introduced at the Reuben Brown uh, Charity Classic in Anguilla, Reuben Brown being a, a former Buffalo Bill player, so of course near and dear to our hearts. Wow. Impressive. All right, we're 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 out of time, Keith, but I want to thank you so much for coming on to the show. But before again, before we go, please, contact information so people can get their hands on your great product. Yep, the website is www.encore, O-N-C-O-R-E, golf.com. So encore, O-N-C-O-R-E, golf.com. They can send an email to Keith at Encore Golf or info at Encore Golf. It'll all get to us. We're a small very responsive company, I think, and we would love to hear from your listeners. And uh, and as I say, we'd love to get the first hundred part of Team Encore looking at the next generation balls that we bring out. I'll do what I can to spread the word here in Dallas. Great, Michael. Thanks. Appreciate it. My pleasure. All right, you've been listening to Keith Blakely. He is the CEO Encore Golf, and uh, I can't wait to try this ball uh, coming up with the uh, new golf tournaments that we're going to be participating with. All right, coming up next, uh, we've got Kevin Lasser. He is the CEO of Gems Technology, new breakthrough technology in medical connectivity between the patient and the physician. We'll be right back. <laughs> 